Hey you beautiful people, how's it going? And welcome to a new video. So back by popular demand, apparently a lot of people just want to see the utmost. Well, Art apparently is the utmost favourite. Uh, oh, it's too early for that man. But 10 seconds in, he's already doing these terrible puns. But you know what guys, it doesn't matter too much because today, courtesy of my good friend Toxic Good, he has supplied us with 10 utmost. Um, yeah, he, he saw what the chat were writing and he wanted to, he wanted to supply, so... Let's get to it. So what we've got is 10 sets of the utmost. <clears throat> New amulet, as you know, it rolls suppress. Um, max Elirez, chance to, well, sorry, pen and at increase attack and cast speed. Now, Cure of Decay is currently about 15 to 17 days. It's a very expensive amulet to make. Um, in total, I believe he told me it cost 195 divines. So, yeah, what we're looking for is essentially a max rolled one. Um, I haven't actually got the thingy up, but hang on, if we just go and search the utmost very quickly. Oh, let's just pull this up real quick. Okay, so we've got Hungrosa. Shout out to Hungrosa. He's an avid viewer, and he has the worst amulet for sale. So, good job, Hungrosa. That was a good man. Um, next. Okay, so if we're looking at high pen ones on their own, looking like 15 D. Is it, it's going to be very hard to make profit. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Okay. With all max rares and low rolls and the rest, looking at starting at 35d, 40 upwards. Um, obviously, these can vary. If you get a max rolled one, it's going to be insanely expensive. Um, let's ignore that one for a minute. I don't know. Let's see. Some of these are just going to be trolled, aren't they? 19, 39, 6, and 3. Apparently, that's... We've got that on for 3 mirrors. Don't know if that's going to be the case. But either way, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble them like the fucking Power Rangers. And we're going to hit some at big. Now, if I remember right, I just have to swap these two. And it should be fine. Okay, there we go. So first one. Bam. High suppress. Low attack speed. Low pen. Low. Slow. Okay. We're not... Mm, I don't think so. We will price check as we go along. You guys said you were fine with that. We've got a 4 max all res. A 5% increase. 2% and a 9%. So fairly mid. Fairly mid. Honestly. Like, not very good. Apparently that's um, that's almost certainly not going to be coming out of that. So if I just limit these very quickly to like slightly like seven, and then four. Yeah, apparently that was that's asking just too much. That's too specific. But there you go. That's um that's a representation of how good that one is. Odds are not very. Next, thirteen sixteen. Good suppress. Good pen. I mean, it's like, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. What I'll have to do. Unless we get an, um, a really, really high roll. So I'll have to um, kind of go and price check these ones individually, I suppose. A high, high roll we can just see straight up because it's going to be fairly obvious. Like this one, for instance, is pretty good, actually. Very good, if one one could say. Because we have um, a fairly high, like it's definitely, yeah. So we've got a high pen roll. We've got a high all early res at 4. Shame it wasn't a 5. 29 attack and cast speed and 15. That one overall, honestly, is pretty good. I don't know if it's that good. I don't think it's that good personally. If I limit this down to four. Okay, 350 div. Um, all right, let's just see with these stats here. We've got one at 10, apparently. Okay, I don't know. I'll probably check this one. This one's in the good list for now, though. We'll put it over there. Left means good. Right means I don't know what I'm talking about, which is most of the time. So next up. Oh. We had a 40% attack and cast speed, 21 suppress, but only a 1 and a 6. I think that's up there, personally. Now, we'll put it down here. 1, 25, 6, and a max suppress, pretty much. We need to, we need to do a little bit better than that. 18, 4, 35, and 1. Oh, promising. It was looking promising. That 1% pen is probably not the one. Get it? Not the one. Oh my god, two puns. Jesus. He's full of them. Two, 23, 4, and 17. That goes up in the right corner. Wow, we've got a 20% pen Ellie, but that's not going to be good enough. That's not good enough with those stats, little bro. Little bro. That's not... Did we get a fiver? Oh, we got a five. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Oh, if that pen Ellie was just a little bit higher, that's so high. That's actually so high. That could be a winner. That might have just... I don't know if it's going to save with that much pen. Like, 7% is not... 
It's not terrible. It's not terrible. We know it's at least 35 defines because of the pen. Um, sorry, the all max res. Go, we can go up to six with the catalyst. That's pretty good. Um, okay, give me two seconds, guys. What we'll do is we'll go... Well, I'll go through these on the, the trade website and I'll just see what these are worth. But I think that's obviously our best one by quite a bit. So let's have a look in a sec. Okay, guys, I price checked the two better ones. I haven't really price checked the other ones because I was looking on the market and they are between like anywhere between one to 10 div. So it could be anybody's guess, to be honest with you. Not really worth talking about them, I suppose. Mm, the ones that are worth talking about are the 15% chance to suppress spell damage or all max Ellie rares, 29 attack and cast speed and damage pan 18. I think this is around 45 div. Um, I'm looking at the market for it. There's one for 35 div with significantly worse attack and cast speed. Um, as you can see, the suppress is like okay, it's slightly better. Uh, very similar, like very similar. I think the attack and cast speed on that is probably just worth a little bit more just because it's practically double. Um, so I think it's more than that. Yeah, you can see there's a uh, a bit of a, a toss around on these around this region. I think this could sell for 45. I sold a few of these before. These these things actually do sell. Um, as you saw in my last video where I did five, I made about 50 div profit in five of them, which was cool. Um, very high variance, very high roll though. The next one is around 210 div, according to what I can see on trade. Um, even though our damage pen did roll quite low with the seven, it's still pretty good i believe that's the same as like the um redeemer pen is it redeemer shaper one of the two it's very similar either way um 25 chances of press obviously high you can get the max ellie rise up to six percent with the catalyst and 37 is near enough max roll on attack and cast speed so very high rolled on those three would have been worth quite a lot if that damage pen would have hit 18 plus i reckon um but going over to that one we can see yeah we have a 27 uh 6 10 and 11 so slightly better on the pen way worse than the attack and cast speed though and that's 175 div. Um, again, very similar on these ones. This one, double the pen, which is pretty good, 180. Um, significantly lower attack and cast speed. So depending on what build you're playing, I reckon this could go anywhere between 180 to 220. This 221 is actually way better because it has a 90% pen, which is really, really high, as well as the attack and cast speed. So 220 if that's fair. Um, I do think it's going to be around 200-ish. I've just put it in here around a ballpark of 210. I think it's fine. 6% early rise, pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's just about it, guys. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see this league that might be new. I was going to do some Uber farming, which is why we are ice trapping at the moment. So we'll see what we get from farming Ubers, I suppose. Um, but either way, yeah, that's just about it for this one, guys. Cheers again, Toxic, for the utmost. Very fun gamble, guys. Um, probably don't try it because it's very expensive. Too high roll. Okay, that's just about it. Catch you in the next one. Take care. Before I go, a big shout out to my King and God tier Patreon supporters, Multi-K, Nifty, Gavin, and Pandoxy. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for the support. Catch you in the next one. Take care.